Alright, hello guys, welcome to Nexus TV. This is Kainai, and uh, I've got a bit, of, a bit of a weird setup at the moment. Um, let's confirm I am all by myself today. Lonely, I am so lonely, I have nobody to co cast with. It's Ukraine against Switzerland. <clears throat> Obviously, we've uh, finished with the European Championship qualifiers now, and this is where this is where this is where all the teams want to get stuck in. This is where they they've got to put their money where their mouth is. Where we need to see teams like Ukraine and Switzerland outsmart their opponents and gather rounds on the board. And uh, well, this Ukrainian side, uh, I think it's safe to say it surprised many. Not quite sure where the sound is in game. Oh, there it is. I think it's fair to, f safe to say it surprised many. A lot of people were expecting some of the lads from Navi, but mm, that didn't really happen. Um, and it's quite understandable as to why the likes of Markolov, Edward, and the rest of the Ukrainians aren't playing for this uh, Ukrainian national side, of course. They've got more important events to be... Ooh, well played from Dio. More important events to be training for, such as Dreamhack... Winter and so on. Is it winter? Yeah, it's going to be DreamHack Winter, where of course $250,000, I think it is. Bloody hell, welcome to Counts, right, ladies and gents. But yeah, I might sound a little bit tired. Reason for that is uh, because I quite simply am, to be fully honest. But yeah, we had a few technical difficulties. It's all been sorted now. And hopefully we can, uh, well, jump into, into the game sometime soon. It still is warm, of course. It's freezing cold in England at the moment. Imagine it'd be uh, slightly colder in uh, the Ukraine. So yeah, we finished the pistol round. Ukraine obviously won that. Which means they get to choose what side they want to start on. And uh, by the looks of things, they've chosen to stay. I think we've had these discussions before, really, with regards to comparing CT and T side on Mirage. I think the mass majority of people come to the decision that Mirage is ever so slightly CT sided. Probably just how uh, Ddos 2 is ever so slightly terrorist sided. So, just waiting to go live as usual. The part that we all hate. And I'm at university now, actually. I'm in a completely different room as to where I used to normally cast, and there's a bit of an echo. So, be interesting to see what, what happens when uh, my voice gets slightly louder. No doubt that my, uh, a few of my housemates will freak out. Like, what's Kaya Knight doing screaming at his computer? But, anyways, here we go. Ukraine against Switzerland. Here in the European Championships, who's going to get this all-important piss around, of course. We all know how important it is. And, well, if the terrorists in Switzerland manage to get it on the board, then he'll definitely uh, give them a nice advantage going into this somewhat slightly CT-sided map. So we're just going to have to wait and see how it pans out, really. So, nil-nil as it stands. And, uh, well... Not a surprise that we see most of the terrorists going towards a B bomb site. A lot of the terrorists like going towards a B bomb site on uh, Mirage. Sometimes it pays off for him, sometimes it doesn't. Trash is he's going to be in for the fright of his life. Here we go, here goes nothing. Geronimo, PHX drops down, and there's a first kill from him. And now the terrorists, they just gotta, they just got to solidify their position on this bomb site. Just wait for uh, the CTs to come. Put a welcome mat out, and... Uh, just pop a few heads left, right and centre. So there we go, the bomb's down, down goes Sozik, and this is good from the Swiss. Z1 returns a kill, 4 on 3, now Malu's coming from behind, he's got his crosser in the right place, lands the headshot. Good stuff from Malu. And talking about Malu, he drops to his death thanks to Dyer. Three man from him, and a decent pistol round from the Swiss. And again, it's safe to say the Ukrainians are the favourites. Uh, quite simply because they are and they are on paper the better side like we said this isn't the best Ukraine can offer but uh, let's just assume it's the second best it's the second best that Ukraine can offer and the Swiss they've done well now they've got the SMGs they've got bigger guns and they're gonna have to try and make it count you can see this interesting strategy by them actually Solek still on the Glock he's made his way towards that A bomb site but couldn't make it count and now this is quite interesting actually because well Switzerland they it looked like they tried to fake an A, but they haven't really faked an A and gone B or anything, so I think Ukraine now might assume that 
a B rush might be on the cards and Switzerland are going to try and hit A. Definitely looks like it because, well, we've got four B-sided CTs. Diaz being spotted at mid with that MP7 whiteout. The bomb, of course, going towards T side, going towards A side through the spawn. So come on, let's be having you. There we go. There's a return kill onto Z1. Transit returns a favor. Three on four. The team with guns are a man down. PHX with that silence USP. Lovely shot by him onto Sozik. And at three versus three now. Well, three from PHX. And now Malu's all by himself. And four man from him. One second, guys. Uh, oh dear, I forgot to do something. Yeah, some of you guys can tell I'm not really uh, in good form at the moment. A bit ill, a bit distracted there. Being told to stick the sponsors in. Okay, let's try and get back into this. It's been quite some time since I cast casted and I'm tired. So, 2-0 to the Swiss. Solek with that first kill. And Z1's going to pick up that scout off his teammate. Deals a little bit of damage, but not enough. Sozik pops from mid with that P250. Nails Solek in the head to make it 4-on-4 four four now. The Swiss on paper should make it 3-0. Easy peasy for them. But now that Trash Insanity's picked up Solex's AK-47, anything's on the cards, really. Z1... We know how important the scout has become in Counter-Strike Source because, well, some of you guys might remember the move from uh, some of the earlier rounds of the uh, European Championships where he was amazing with the scout. But anyways, two versus three, Refo and DR, they have the weapon advantage and DR makes it count onto Trash Insanity and at 2-2... Two -two, well, my money's on the Swiss at the moment. DR picks up that AK-47 red laminate. Of course, now the CT's lost that red laminate. Sozik's been dinked at mid. And now, HP-wise and gun-wise, the Swiss. Surely they have to emerge victorious now. Surely they've got to win. A scout and a P250 against what's an AK and an MP7. It should be the terrorist, uh, well, any day of the week, really. Where are they going? They're going towards the A-bomb site. Sozik is still on B. Transic has heard them. So, DR looks towards that jungle area. Down goes the smoke. It's been dispersed onto the floor. Hello, hello. Look where Transic is coming from. DR will take him out. And now it's all down to Sozik. He has a scout. What's he going to do with it? Terrorists are just going to play from a... Uh, a distance, Sozik coming through CT spawn, he's looking left, right and centre, trying to find some of the terrorists, but they're hiding very well, and they're playing it correctly, they're playing it perfectly, that's all they have to do, they're going to listen out for the defuse, DR just might peek him there, and there's the kill, 3 nils to the Swiss. So, here we go then. Some people saying the uh, stream is a bit laggy. Like I said, I'm in a new environment at the moment. Um, I'm experimenting. And like I said, I'm not myself at the moment. So I'd like to apologize for that. Um, I'm trying to get my head back in the game. I just haven't cast it in a while. But anyways, back into it. I should stop complaining. Trash Insanity with his second of the rounds. And now Trash Insanity. Three man from him. Hat trick from him. Wow. Just jumped out of the, win uh, out of the mid window. 180 spin. Boom. And now that's exactly what the doctor ordered for Ukraine. And yet has been hurt in apps. And well, just as he goes down, so does his teammate. Let me know if the stream is still laggy, guys. It is experimental, like I said. I'm not dropping any frames on my end, so you guys might want to, just might want to uh, switch Twitch servers. So, 3-1 now. The U Ukraine, that's exactly what the doctor ordered for them. They lost the first pistol round. Now, uh, well, we've still got a full buy from the terrorists. Somewhat of a mixed AK-47 buy. So there's a first kill from Z1 for Ukraine. That auto director failed to pick up. Refo as well returns the kill with a lovely AK-47 headshot. Now they're going to start moving towards mid now. What are we going to see from the terrorists? Ukraine, no doubt about the fact that they're ooh, well prepared. Transic has been dinked. They know exactly where his position is. The intel comes in. So that gets taken down. And we just might see another casualty. We most certainly do. And at 4-2, surely it's going to be the Ukraine. Ukrainians round. Refo and Maniac both on AKs, however. They're up against one up. Well, I was going to say two M4s, but. Uh, doesn't matter now, does it? So, 3 2 in favour of Switzerland.
And, well, Ukrainians, they've done well to come back after losing the pistol round. It's not the first time we see the slightly weaker side win the pistol round and then see the stronger side sort of make their way back into the game. And on paper, we should see another easy Ukrainian victory. Now, the terrorists are going towards a B-bomb site. Autodirector thinks otherwise. Here we go. Tresh Sanity. What can he do now? He's got the up. Misses that first shot. Pulls the P2000 out. Takes one out, but one's not enough. Malu with two. He's got that silence M4. No three-man for him. And the terrorists just might get a plant here. Are they going to do so? DR with an up. A maniac with only uh, a Glock or a P250. It is a P250. My bad. And a three versus two. Well, you never know. It could go in favour of the terrorists. Not very likely, in my opinion. But hey, Maniac has the bomb. And oh well, look where he's gone. He's, go he's going towards mid. He's going towards that A bomb site. Transic, however, is expecting him. So let's have a look at what Maniac is going to pull out the bag here. He's making his way in towards jungle. Oh, look at this. He's going to shoot. Oh, he missed the frag. He should have got the frag. And well, Transic made him pay the price for not getting the frag. It was an easy frag. He should have got it any day of the week, even if he did have only a P250. He had the angle advantage. Well, there wasn't an advantage in the world he didn't have, but, you know, it's Counter-Strike, and it happens. We're all human. 3-3. Three, three. So, the smokes go out towards mid. And this is a best-of-one map, by the way, guys. It's not a BO3, as we've seen in the past. So, Maniac and the rest of the terrorists, they want to make their way towards B now. Oh, two kills already from the Ukrainians as uh, PHX returns the kill. The Ukrainians start rotating now. Three on four. Four, of course, in favour of the CT side. Well, the favoured CT side, but Solek wants to change that. Nail Sozik in the head of the bombs down. And that's something Switzerland have done very well. They've been able to take over bomb sites, and they're getting the bomb down, and now... Retaking is uh, up to the Ukrainians now. Let's see what they can do. The nades are flying in left, right, and center. PHX holding an interesting angle. Spots one of the CTs. Takes him out with a lovely shot, but Z1 returns the kill. Two on two. Another shot from Z1. Brilliant stuff from Z1. He's going to search for Solek. Solek, where are you, mate? Z1 anticipated where he was. Terrific stuff by him. Three, man. And there's the defuse. A very, very good round, actually, from Z1. He anticipated exactly where, well, well, all three of the terrorists were. <laughs> he anticipated that Solek just might be coming from out as uh, his teammates started uh, defusing the bomb, which was, uh, well, very good play by them, and it paid off for him. It was a, uh, well, a dodgy defuse, but hey, defuse is defuse, but have a look at this. Solek has made his way into this A bomb site already. Took down Transic. This is what we've come to see. Frags left, right, and center. Is Solek going to make it happen? Not at the moment. Sozik returns a favor. Treshin blows Solek to smithereens. Getting revenge for his teammate who died earlier on. And wow, it's just a slaughterhouse at the moment for the Swiss. The Ukrainians with ease as Maniac. What's he going to do here then? The answer that is not much. But yeah, a slaughterhouse for the Ukrainians. The Swiss, they, well, they push into that A-bomb site one by one. And well, they couldn't make any of it count, to be fully honest. Solek did really well. He pushed right in there. He got that early frag, but hey, you know, you can't just push in there, get that early frag and fall back, and then push in one by one. It sort of defeats the, the whole point of getting that early frag. So I believe we're seeing uh, somewhat of a deco from the terrorists, and they're all going towards this A bomb site. So as this uh, deco happens, I was just going to say we'll take a look at the scoreboard, but hang on, looks like we could, we could have a decent round on the card. Z1 with first bull onto Maniac. What's going to happen here then? They know Z1 wants push towards mid, so the terrorists have got to change something around. The bomb, they're just chilling outside A at the moment, maybe waiting for one of the CTs to push and fall into a, a trap they're trying to set for them, but it's most certainly not working at the moment. Could could have worked there, but Malu used the weapon advantage. It paid off for him, and DR returns the favour onto Malu. Malu, he pushed out, he got the kill, probably should have fallen back, got a bit greedy in, at, at 3 versus 4, despite the fact that the Ukrainians have the weapon advantage and have the HP advantage. If the Swiss managed to get a bomb down now, well, it wouldn't be a, a, too bad of a round for them. PHX lands the P250 shot onto Z1. As uh, his teammate tries to get that bomb down, we can hear it ticking. 7-3 is the number on the bomb, and down it goes. Well, he couldn't hold off three CTs. I don't think anyone was expecting him to hold off three CTs. But uh, the Swiss, they decode. They picked up a few weapons on their way. They uh, forced a few Ukrainian casualties, and they got the bomb down. In my opinion, 
that is just almost like a win for Switzerland, like a win for that round, because, well, they got the bomb down on a deco, and that's exactly what they will have aimed to do. They're on a deco. Winning the round would have been a bonus, but they've got the bomb down, and that is the important thing for them. So, Ukraine add another round to their tally. They've now got six rounds on the board. And what are we going to see new from the Swiss now? I want to see something different. I want to see maybe a few flashes over the building to PHX's right. You know, we know that this, this Swiss team isn't a bad team. But, uh, well, when you let Z1 control mid just like that, and he's got, the, well, a terrific AWP on him. He does make the Swiss look like a bad team. So, DR returns the kill, and the Ukrainians are a man down already. This one we were bad mouthing, and they do, uh, they did manage to turn it around ever so slightly. And at four versus three, the Swiss could get round number four on the board. So, let's see what they can do. Sozik is, uh, stood in connector. PHX, ooh, he's, he's very close to Sozik, actually. I don't know whether... If PHX drop down, drops down from the roof, he'll be in trouble without a doubt, but it doesn't look like he's going to make any sound. Solix is unmarked, pushing up mid, peeking CT spawn. Not much happening at the moment. Oh, DR just saves KRT's, uh, saves his teammate's bacon, sorry, as he takes down KRT. And Sozik, he pushed connector and made PHX pay on the roof. And at three versus two, the Swiss are in the lead. Make that two versus two. Solek now 24 HP. Reefo, we had the bomb. He's got it down. We see one of the CTs rotating through short now. Sozik is going to throw that nade. And the CTs, they want to retake this bomb site. They've got to look in all the hiding places. There's so many places to hide on this B bomb site. But Transit gets rid of the, one of the threats. And Sozik takes out Reefo and a superb retake from the Ukrainians. There were a few men down at one point, but they managed to turn it around. And fair play to them. Two kills apiece for Sozik and Transic. And when you've got players, you can get... Well, you know what they say on CT side. If every player can aim to take down at least two players before dying, you've got it in the bag, and that's the exact case for the Ukrainians. Now, Switzerland, sure, they have three rounds on the board, but we've got to remember those were the pistol round. That will, uh, Those were the pistol rounds and the first... And the two rounds after that. So, can we... Are we finally going to see a... A buy around victory for the Swiss. Not when Z1 zorping like that. He keeps pushing mid. He's being he's been given a license to kill, a license to roam at mid, and he's making the Swiss pay, isn't he? So how are the Swiss gonna counter it? Well Z1's at mid, there's his second, and Z1 is running circles around the Swiss at the moment. Far too easy to be fully honest. Eleven rounds in and the Swiss, they're not learning their lesson. Sozik is well, he's pushed apps already, and he's gonna say to his teammates, look guys, we got nothing apps, it most likely is a B. And well we can see from KRT's reaction and the fact that autodirector rotated to him, that it most likely is gonna be a B. And we can see the radar, of course, and we see the bomb near the B bomb site. Surprise, surprise. So the CTs are not being pushed back there aren't many fakes going on the CTs they've got a pretty they're being given a free a free a free roll they're pushing into places what that is what that's allowing them to do is to just basically constrict the map they're constricting the map they shut in places off they shut down apps they shut down mid when you've shut down apps you've shut down outside of a and you shut down out uh, mid on Mirage, there's only one place the players are going to be, and that is the B bomb site. And that's exactly Switzerland's problem at the moment. They've got to try a few fakes. If they're going to push the B bomb site, they've got to put smokes and flashes down onto the A bomb site. They've got to keep the Ukrainians guessing, and at the moment, it's exactly what they're not doing. So, where are the Swiss then? We've got one in apps, which is nice for a change. Good, we're seeing more of a split from them. There's still no one B-sided. If we see KRT push uh, B enough, we could have the uh, Ukrainians noticing that, uh, hang on a second, lads, it's going to be a B, and Z1 on the lurk once again with another lovely AWP shot, that big green gun, or the big orange gun in his case. One bullet to uh, any part of the body, bar your legs, and, well, it's, a, it's, a, it's an instant kill. 
And Zewon most certainly has been making the Swiss pay the price for any mistakes they have been doing. At the moment, we're not seeing any penetration whatsoever from the Swiss. Finally, we've seen smokes and flashes go over, but there's no fake onto the B-bomb site. There's no fake onto the B-bomb site. It's just a blatant push, and we're having all of the Ukrainians rotate towards this A-bomb site. Maniac, fortunately for the Swiss, with not one but a double kill. And is he going to make it a triple kill? He most certainly isn't. KRT rotating from CT. Now Solek versus KRT in Trash Team. Now Treshin is only on 8 HP and down he goes. Now Solek is the last man standing. He knows that KLT was last spotted in CT spawn and it's a game of cat and mouse. Solek has the bomb and with 20 seconds and counting. He's made it look like he is going to go towards that B bomb site. But I'll tell you what, he's not fooling KRT here. And down Solek goes. 9-3 and KLT. He outsmarted the Swiss player there. He outsmarted him. The Swiss player thought he would fake going... Uh, well, the only way the Swiss player could have gone towards that B-bomb site is by going uh, down through that small, small, small vent. Down through that small vent. Down through the small window. And KRT, he peaked CT spawn, saw no one went there. Knew it must have still been an A. And well, with 10 seconds to go, the terrorists had to make noise. He had to push that bomb site. And talking about these CTs being given a license to roam, Sozik used it absolutely brilliantly there. So, but Maniac, he's pushed his B-bomb site. And well... That pretty much sums up the Swiss's game so far. It hasn't been an exciting game. We've seen some terrific open from Z1 so far. But in reality, a lot of people predicted a Ukrainian victory. And the Swiss, they've been just no match whatsoever for the Ukrainians. But at 4 versus 2, maybe, just maybe, we just might see some sort of sign of intent from the Swiss. And just as I say that, Trash Sin takes out Refo. So, PHX, mate, you're all by yourself now. Show us what you're made of. You've got Z1 Zorp to deal with. Stay away from those windows. And just as I say it, possibly a bit of a commentator's curse. Down PHX goes. Oh, thanks to that man right there. Z1 with his magical AWP. So, at 10-3, Switzerland, let's be fully honest, they really need 10-5. If they don't get 10-5, I can't see them making their way back into the game. It's as simple as that. So, hello, hello. Switzerland, what are you going to do? Oh, I just actually noticed that the uh, Swiss flag with the brackets and the addition sign generally, uh, uh, actually looks like a Swiss flag. Yeah. Okay. See, guys, uh, I don't know what I've been drinking. But... <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I can't believe I didn't notice that. So Z1, once again at mid, he missed the orb shot, pulled his secondary USP out and nailed DR in the head. And uh, the Swiss, they're a lost cause at the moment. I hate to say it, they are a lost cause. PHX and Maniac, however, all oh, two from PHX. And just like I said, they were a lost cause. This uh, deco round... It's paying off for them. KRT is all alone now with the auto sniper. He's making his way towards mid. And now he has to try and anticipate where these uh, terrorists are. He's taken down one, and that's a start. Maniac now making his way on towards this bomb site. He knows exactly where KRT is. He's got to try and stay away from him as much as he can. KRT's just holding that angle there. Oh, he's been spied him, he's spied him, and KRT pulls the two versus one clutch off. Great stuff by, uh, by him. And just when it seemed the Swiss just may have had a chance to, well, get their first non-eco round on the board, it didn't happen for them. When I say non-eco, I mean, well, their three, the three rounds they won, they were up against either the Ukrainians on pistols or Ukrainians up against uh, an uh, anti-eco. So now... Here we have it. The push onto the A site begins. Maniac onto transit. Good stuff. And at four versus three, are we going to see this fourth Swiss round? Well, if they are going to stand a chance of winning this game, they need uh, this fourth round on the board. And Maniac looks like he just might make it happen. Lovely headshot onto KRT. And finally, we have a fourth Switzerland round on the board. They took their time, but hey, a round's a round. So let's see how uh, this will develop then. At 15, uh, 15 rounds. When you consider that 11 of them have gone to Ukraine, it's a CT side map, right, guys? But you know, it's not this CT sided. But we've seen comebacks before. That's, that's exactly what Counter Strike is about. We know we know what teams can do. We know what players can do. All you need is that little bit of momentum sometimes. So you know, 
put you in, put you on on the right track, and just just a little kick in the right direction can more can often make a big difference. So last time round we had the Swiss winning the pistol round, who were of course uh, on T side. Are we going to see uh, the tables turn, or are we going to see another Swiss pistol round? It looks very likely at the moment. PHX with a lovely USP kill onto Z1 and three kills already from the Swiss. Oh, hang on, look at this transit with two and Treshin. Wow, two versus one now. The Ukrainians turned. Well, talking about the turning of tables, terrific stuff from the Ukrainians, and now it's refo against Transic. And well, that shot just speaks for itself, doesn't it? Terrific shot from refo. Two man from him. And 11-5. The Swiss now, they've claimed both pistol rounds, so maybe pistol rounds are something the Ukrainians need to work on in the future. We're just going to have to wait and see. But of course, now we should, and I'm saying we should, see 11-7 on the board, and well, that definitely gives Switzerland a foot back in the game, doesn't it? Uh, so they should go on to win this round. They have the bigger weapons. They've got the submachine guns. They've got the, well, they might have a few gallows. No, they don't. I was going to say rifles. But, yeah, they're, they're full submachine gun, and they're up against, well, glocks on, on these, on the, against these terrorists. Main out with a P90 there. And Ukraine, a lost cause at the moment. Typical anti-eco. Exactly what we uh, expected to see. And if 11-6 after this round can become 11-7... I think it's safe to say it'll be game on, and there we have it. They track Trish in through to a little of Trish insanity, don't. Some of these players and their names, guys. Some of these players and their names. Deary me. Um, some people asking about whether there's something wrong uh, about Twitch chat. There could be. Uh, I can't really check it at the moment. Um, it looks fine to me, but yeah, the. It looks fine to me, so I'm not quite sure. But anyways, uh, here we go. We've had an early buy from the terrorists, and it's paying off for them at the moment. KRT with one. Are we going to see a lovely headshot from Sozik? Not just yet, Maniac. Returns a favour. Good kill onto Z1, and at four on four. Let's see what the terrorists can pull out of the bag. If Ukraine can get this round here, it will definitely pay off for them. If Switzerland managed to take down the terrorists uh, on this set... Uh, Anti uh, eco, it'll pay off for them. KRT onto Maniac, two on two now. Sozik and KRT being shot at from the kitchen. Down goes Sozik, and at two versus one. Surely it's, we, well, we're going to have a Swiss round. We have to, really. Two M4s versus KRT with an AK 47 on 42 HP. Where's KRT? Let's have a look at him. Here he is, he's uh, in app still. He needs to pick up that bomb. Of course. Oh no, he's got the bomb on his back. So he's going to want to. Plant. He's looking towards short. He knows he's well. He's definitely going to expect at least one CT from the kitchen. Is he going to fake the plant? He most certainly is. Spots one. Oh, takes him out. Good play from KRT. And is this going to be a proper plant? No, it's not. It's another fake plant. Oh, great play from KRT. Fake the plant not once but twice and pulled off the clutch. That was such an important round from the Ukrainians. It really was because they went for that early buy. And if they had lost it, it would have completely crippled their economy. And at 12-6, well... They should really go on to win it now. We've seen Switzerland there recoing or decoing, as we can see, and we haven't actually seen Switzerland beat Ukraine on any full, on any round where both teams have real weapons except one. So you know, I think you've got to be a brave man to put your money on the Swiss at this point, but. You never know. Four versus two. Refo gets what's surely going to be only a consolation. Maybe not. Lands the headshot onto Sozik before get, he gets taken down by Trashianity. In Maniac with that gun smoke. P250 takes down one. They know where he is. Two from Maniac. Shooting like a Maniac at the moment. And he's got Z1 to deal with. Z1, 79 HP. Has an AK. It's Glock versus P250 at the moment. Little does he know that Maniac has actually dropped out of the window room. Maniac's on 6 HP. And to me, it looks like he's just going to save this. It'll be, well, be uh, really disappointing if he uh, decides on saving this. But, oh no, Z1 needs to pick up the bomb. And as he does that... Let's have a look at the scoreboard. PHX on 19 kills, 15 deaths. Maniac tied on 16-16. DR on 11-14. Refo and Solek on 8 kills apiece. So, the CT made his way towards B. Now he's making his way back towards A. He's in jungle. He'll definitely hear the bomb going down. 
Yep, he's going to hear it now. And Maniac on 6 HP. It's all or nothing now. He's going to peek the terrorist, but the terrorist takes out the trash. Good stuff from Z1. 13 6. And well, we had, well, we had an eco, didn't we? Eco slash deco from the Swiss last round, which means they can afford to successfully buy up now. But like I said before, we've only seen one gun round versus gun round victory from the Swiss. So they're going to have to change something up. You'd think they've changed sides, so, you know, it might pay off for them. But the Ukrainians, even on T side, they've proven to be far too good. So, what are we going to see then? Sozik with first blood onto PHX, somewhere near that A bomb site at the moment. Wow, well, the Ukrainians and the Switzerland exchanging kills. Transit with that kill onto Solek. Two versus three now. The bombs will go towards CT spawn, and the bombs will go towards Sign. Not quite sure why Transic teammated his uh, teammate there. Not quite sure why he did that. Z1 is being spammed from the boxes. He's going to try and spam back. He's down to 15 HP, and down he goes back to T spawn now. Refo versus Maniac. Can Refo make it a hat trick? He most certainly cannot. Two versus one. Maniac. Well, he was a bloody maniac in the last round. Didn't, couldn't pull it off towards the end, but he just might do it this time round. He's got the silenced M4. He gets one, has to pull the USP out, spots the second, but Transic takes him out once again. And at 14-6, well, no way back in it for the Swiss. We're seeing a few Mag 7s being bought from the Swiss. We're seeing a few Famas's being bought from the Swiss, but ultimately, I don't think it's going to be enough at the end of the day. It really has been a one-sided game. Fair play to the Swiss, they've got six rounds on the board. The, the only reason for that is because they've won both pistol rounds, you know what I mean? When it's come to the real nitty-gritty of the game, when it's come to the real Counter-Strike, let's be honest, pistol rounds are important, but they're not exactly what Counter-Strike games are about. Counter-Strike games are about this. Guns against guns, not guns versus Deco. Guns against guns, Solek with two, but eventually gets dropped by Z1. And two versus one, I think the Swiss may just have very well been listening to my little rant there. They uh, they seem determined to prove me wrong. Are they going to be able to do it? We're just going to have to wait and see. Maniac and Reefer both on pharmacies. They know where Z1 is. They know the bomb's down on A. And they know he hasn't crossed to anywhere. So they know he's going to be slap bang on the bomb site. Z1's going to spot one and Maniac takes him out. Wow. That's definitely a lifeline for the Swiss. 14-7. I do believe the Ukrainians will still buy up next round. They did get the bomb down, so they should have enough money. Maybe not enough to buy an AWP. Let's have a look. Yeah, definitely not enough to buy an AWP. Oh, Transic on uh, 23,000 and Sozik on 22,000. So we are going to have an eco, or, well, deco from the Ukrainians. They only need two more rounds. And finally, hopefully winning. You know, it's strange because Ukraine, it was a normal round for them. They had normal weapons and they came up against a mix buy from the Swiss. A few pharmacies, a few Max 7s, and it didn't really pay off for them. So PHX will get the first one. And I believe he got a second one. I can't quite tell because of the death notice. And, uh, yeah. Simple anti eco from the Swiss. So, back to what I was saying. The Ukrainians, they had real guns that time. And the Swiss, well, they didn't have real guns. They had fancy guns. And they won the round where they had fancy guns against real guns. But they couldn't seem to win the, ra the rounds where both teams had proper guns. And... Maybe, just maybe the, the Swiss have cracked it. It doesn't look to me like they've changed anything around. They are now up against AK-47s. We've seen how powerful these Ukrainians are with them. Here's, of course, a Russian weapon, but... Uh, the Ukrainians aren't um, uh, too bad with it either. So, 5 versus 5. DR still on that A-bomb site. Refo on short. Transic still on the roof. Trash Sanity making his way down mid. And, well, we're not seeing much... Not a lot of aggression from the CTs, and it's understandable. That's one thing you get a lot when you're, well, when you're a few rounds down. You think your CT, just hold the bomb sites, guys. And sometimes it can pay off against certain opponents to try and minimize the, the, the size of the map. So, Solek with first bull onto KRT. As the rest of the Ukrainians slowly close in onto uh, one of the two bomb sites, which is, of course, the A bomb site. Trash, uh, uh, trash insanity. Good, uh... Proved to be an issue at the moment. Transit, he's making his way now towards this A-bomb site. Lands a headshot onto DR. The trash finality. We said he could have been a nuisance. He most certainly was as Refo is coming back through jungle now. Two from Refo. Good stuff from Refo. Z1 is all by himself. Last man standing. He's only got an AWP. Come on, Z1. We know you're a quality AWPer. What can you do with it? 
Most certainly he won't be able to do much with it when he's flashed. So, he needs to pick up that bomb, which is, well, near connector at the moment. He's peeking connector. If he's lucky, he might spot a CT. Oh, no, the the, uh, the bomb was near up. Sorry, bad. So, Refo's heard Z1 for sure. And he's, well, he's playing it cool. He's anticip... Oh, no, look. Z1. Why did... What? Why did he do that? He... Well, I mean, the time ran out, but, uh, I'm pretty... If, if my memory serves me correct, back in source, if the bomb ran out and you... If the time ran out and you had the bomb, you'd get no money. As opposed to... When you don't have the bomb and the time runs out. Or it could just be, you know, me having not played Counter-Strike properly in a long time. Uh, tch, someone correct me. Uh, I'm probably incorrect. But anyways, 14-9, the Swiss, well, they're bringing it back and it's looking good for them. The Ukrainians are on a sort of a mixed fight. Z1 obviously still has his AWP. The rest of them still, uh, well, they've had to deco. Refo takes out Treshin. Two from Refo. His M4 skills have been superb so far this round. Just a shame he couldn't really uh, do the same with an AK-47. Four versus two. For the terrorists, they're closing in onto this A-bomb site. And just as I said that, down went Transic. And Z1 once again all by himself. And finally, the Swiss managed to take him out. Are we going to see a comeback? Well, I really don't know. I mean, I, I, I dug a lot into the Swiss. I said they weren't good enough, but they most certainly have been eight of my... Well, they've managed to turn it around. Let's keep in mind that, well, the previous round they won was uh, up against an eco. As for uh, people talking about lag, um, I'm not dropping any frames, guys. It's as simple as that. So it's not from my end. It's from Twitch's end. So try changing your Twitch servers. Um, add de.twitch on your URL, nl.twitch. But yeah, so two kills already from the Swiss and the 11 rounds looks likely. One from Refo. Couldn't get the second, but he has managed to tag Transic down to a few uh, HP. Solek with the AWP. And Sozik now, he's uh, the last man standing. And he will die. Uh, and Switzerland, they look very comfortable at the moment. The Ukraine, they're, they're probably in that mindset now where it looked like they were so close to winning the game, but now the Swiss out of nowhere have just... They've got a breath, breath of fresh air out of nowhere. They, they look like a completely different side, and fair play to them. And what that can often do is, especially when your team win, in the winning position, you're so close to winning, you can often start. There's a, a voice in your head starts to ring saying, "Oh dear guys, what if they get? What if they pull the comeback off?" And of course, they won't want that to happen. But the Swiss at the moment look like they're most likely. Uh, well, what does it look like now? PHX with two. Refo's gonna spot another. Down he goes. And the Swiss look, well, they look good for their money. KRT onto PHX. We do have Refo and Solek both on low HP. So what are we gonna see? Solek missed that AWP shot. Ooh, he's on 20 HP now. The problem is they know exactly where KRT is. If he's gonna get surrounded, he's definitely gonna be in trouble. Solek is gonna peek him. He's making that angle bigger. And eventually landed the shot. And, well, at 14-5, I think it was. Was it 14-5? 14-5-14-6. I said you'd have to be a crazy man to put your money on the Swiss, but uh, I'll put my hands up and admit that uh, I'm starting to regret what I said. So let's just wait and see how, how, how this develops then, shall we? 14-12 now in favour of the Ukrainians. Let's have a look at the uh, Ukrainian scoreboard. Z1 on 22 kills, 18 deaths. Transic on 17 kills, 17 deaths. KLT on 20 kills, 19 deaths. Sozik with 18 kills, 20 deaths, and uh, Tresh Insanity, the name I hate, on 14 kills, 22 deaths. So, just as we were looking on the scoreboard, the Swiss managed to get a frag. Oh, -ho -ho! Transic with an even better frag onto Solak and PHX. Well, let's hope he has a PhD in Counter-Strike. Let's see if we can, uh, well protect this bomb site. So the terrorists, they've got to start moving faster. They've got to get closer to this, to this player. Now, the bomb's being spotted already. Either dedicate to this bomb site or go back and change your minds. Two from Transic. Good AK work from Transic. Are we going to see match point from the Ukrainians? Three from Transic. And is he going to make it a five, man? He got a kill earlier on in the round. He's got three already on this A bomb site. He's only got Maniac to deal with, and he's got KRT to his right-hand side. They're going to pick up the bomb. They're going to try and plant it. Oh, they've heard Maniac. They know where he is now. They're just going to wait for... Uh, well, 
Maniac's gonna throw that nade. It might take down KRT. No dealt no damage at all. Maniac is gonna spam the boxes. Still dealing no damage on behalf of Maniac. And KRT, if he peaks in the right place at the right time, he could get that all important round number 15 on the board for the Ukrainian. So Maniac takes down Transic, denies him the 5 man. Maniac on 5 HP is going to start the fake defuse. He knows exactly where KRT just might come from, but KRT lands the headshot. Good stuff. Transic didn't get the 5 man, but hey, Counter Strike is a team game. So, this could be a colossal round for the Ukrainians, it's simple as that. 16-12 is what they need to, uh, of course, guarantee the victory. Here against the Swiss on Mirage. Round 28, this game really has been pushed to the wire, hasn't it? Definitely would have thought it at 11-4 in the uh, first half, but fair play to the Swiss, and even if they do end up losing, I think uh, it's safe to say they haven't gone down without a fight. So, what's going on then? Trash Insanity, the uh, name I hate, making his way slowly down mid, and oh, this is something new actually from the Ukrainians. They've got four Galils and an AK. They did win the previous round, but uh, they still can't afford to buy fully. So Solek, oh, he spots one, and well, that's an easy kill for him, isn't it? They tried to boost him into window room, and uh, it didn't pay off for them. So, with the Ukrainians one man down... It's going to make their life uh, ever so slightly more difficult trying to take a few bomb sites from the uh, five-man Switzerland side. But one moment of magic could be uh, sufficient to turn the game into their favour. PHX is making a lot of noise. Oh, oh, he's, oh he got caught red-handed there with a grenade he's in his hand. He's had a bit of damage dealt onto him. He's down to less than half HP. Here's uh, Z1 coming through apps. And at 5 versus 2, we're not going to see a Ukrainian round, surely. DR onto Sozic, KRT, last man standing. Show us what you made of, KRT. Where are you, son? There he is. And just as I switch to him, he falls to his death. So, two more rounds to go. So, like I said, the Ukrainians were most certainly the favourites going into this game. Um, at one point, when they were 11-4 up after the first off, they most certainly looked like it was well, they were going to whitewash the Swiss. But uh, it hasn't turned out that way now, and they've they've been forced to, to deco now or deco slash eco. So my guess is that they're going to lose this round, and we'll be at 15-14. And the pressure, well, it'll all be on Switzerland, really. If they win this fight, if, well, not this round, the round after this. If they win the final round. They'll take the game to overtime, which most certainly isn't what we all expected. If uh, the Ukrainians manage to pull the round out of the bag, then uh, they'll emerge victorious at 16-14. It most certainly didn't look very lightly, but uh, again, Counter-Strike is Counter-Strike, and anything can happen, guys. Like I said, just a little bit of momentum, which was exactly what the Swiss got, and you can sometimes turn the game around, and uh, I'm not quite sure what GoTV was playing out there. I do apologise. Um... Yeah, that what happened on GoTV there was not my fault, and we have an invisible model, as uh, what always seems to happen when we approach the second to last round on these European Championship GoTVs. Yeah, you can see an orphan, a few uh, grenades walking by themselves for whatever reason. I'd like to apologise for that, guys. It's not in my hands. It's down to the uh, official European Championship GoTV. So, Refo now on short with that M4. Where the terrorists going to go? The terrorists, surprisingly, still can't afford AKs. we still got not one, but two Ukrainians on Galils. So, you know, the Swiss, they've got a better... They've got better weapons on their backs and in their hands and in their gloves. Are they going to make it pay off for them? Treshin, 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 we'll just call him Treshin, has been uh, dropped down to 10 HP. And Sozik is going to make his way through uh, apps now. The smoke's going out. Come on, Ukraine, get a move on, take a bomb site. 55 seconds to go, they've got plenty of time. But what's going on here? Water director's gone to sleep. My game isn't moving. There we go, PHX onto Tresh Insanity. I can't change the camera for some reason. KRT now, the Molotov is down on the bomb site. Solek with two. Great counter strike from Solek. Using the AWP to perfection. Three from Solek. And he just may have put this game into overtime. He most certainly has done. And no, we're not going to have overtime. We're not going to have overtime. I believe these could be the group stages. Yep, uh, well, I had no idea these were the group stages. I thought it was knockout again. So, uh, well, well, to sum it up in one way, well played to the, well played to the Swiss. They were 11-4 down at half-time, guys. And, well, they, well, 
they pulled the comeback off. Fair play to them. And um, apologies if my casting was not up to scratch today. I know it wasn't. Um, uh, I've I've got. Well, some shit going on in my life at the moment. My head's not really in the game. But remember to follow me on Twitch. Feel free to subscribe to me on YouTube where you'll see all of the previous European Championship casts. And as always, guys, um, uh, once again, apologies. I know I wasn't up to scratch as I normally am. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.